What's going on, everybody? All right. So we bought this uh, day before yesterday. And I didn't film an intro to this video, so that's why I'm doing this now. Um, but we bought this. It is the Yeti uh, Tundra 35. Had to get the Tundra um, as we do it on this channel. Um, but it is the Tundra 35, and I forget how many... Um, beverages you can fit in this. But I did some testing over the last couple days. Now, the first test I did, I took this to the beach. It was pretty much in the direct sunlight all day. And uh, I left it overnight and we seen how much water was in it for 24 hours. Not water, but how much ice was left in it, how much had melted into or turned into water over 24 hours. And then today I took it out there. We was at the beach about seven hours. We was there about seven and a half hours yesterday and about seven hours today. It was pretty much in direct sunlight. As you can see, I have some nice sunglasses tanned here. Um, but it was in direct sunlight pretty much all day. And uh, then I brought it back and seen how much ice had melted into water in the seven hours it was there. So the first, first test was 24 hours with about seven and a half hours in direct sunlight. And the second one was just the seven hours in direct sunlight. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the video so that you all can see the results. Um, I was pretty happy with them, but you can judge for yourself. Okay, normally I don't read the instructions, but it did say put ice and stuff in this till the sides get cold and then go ahead and fill it the rest of the way up with ice. I'm just curious, I stuck it in the bathtub so that I could actually see if there was any water that comes out of this plug. Let's just see if any of the ice melted. Uh, no, let me turn it up. Uh, you can see that was very, very little of any of the ice melted. I mean, just that. So I'm not sure that's totally necessary but I thought I'd do it the way they said do it. And then uh, after we go to the beach today, and I actually stuck it in the tub, I won't tell you, I stuck it in the tub just in case there was a leak out of that plug, but there was no leak. But after we go to the beach, we'll probably spend, I don't know, probably get down there about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Probably come back to the room about four or five o'clock-ish. So we'll be down there most of the day. It's supposed to be mid, upper 80s. Got up in the 90s yesterday. We'll see how this thing actually holds ice. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll actually pull the plug when we get back and see just how much of it melted after being down there all day. I don't know if I can keep this in the shade. I may actually wind up having to set it in the sun um, because the, the cabanas we have down there don't have a lot of room. I'll try to keep it in the shade as much as possible, but I don't even know if any of that's possible. But like I said, when I get back, we'll take a look at it, see how much ice is left. Okay. So it's been almost 24 hours. It got up to about uh, 83 yesterday, I think it was. And this set pretty much in direct sunlight. I mean, it was pretty much, we couldn't really fit it under the cabana. Um, I did take everything out last night. It was open several times, getting drinks in and out. And as you know, hot air is the, you know, arch enemy of coolers. So we're gonna open it and just see how much ice is left after 24 hours. Now you can tell there is quite a bit of water there, but there's still quite a bit of ice and that water is crazy cold. But there is still quite a bit of ice down in there. Um, considering how hot it was, this thing did set, like I said, in direct sunlight and was open several, several times, probably 10 or 15 times or more yesterday to let heat in and shut it back. Not to let the heat in, we get stuff and you know, drinks out of it, but heat would inevitably get in. And then we'd shut it back. But um, there's there's still quite a bit of ice in it. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. It kept the drinks yesterday like crazy, crazy cold. And then this did sit overnight in the room. Now what I'm gonna do today is I'll take it, and we were at the beach about seven and a half hours yesterday. So this thing sat out in the heat for about seven and a half hours. So what I'm gonna do on the next video is, um, I'm gonna show you how much ice is in it as soon as we get back. So when we get back from the beach today, which will probably be out there another six to eight hours-ish, um, whenever we get back to the room, um, 
I'll show exactly how much is in it uh, then. I don't know how much actually, you know, melted last night, but I don't think, I wouldn't think there would be a ton of it that melted out of the room, but I could be wrong. We'll check it today when we get back. Now, of course, we need to do the test right here. Let's just see how much water comes out. There wasn't much came out yesterday, but I think there'll be quite a bit today. God, it's cold. We gotta drain it anyway. You can see there's there's quite a bit of water. But let's see how much ice is left after all the water. Turn it up here. Make sure we get it all out. Well, that made about fell in my hand. There's quite a bit of water in that. We'll move it back here. So I can tip it up a little more without the lid falling. I feel like that's about all. Look how much ice is left. I mean, that's that's quite a bit of ice. We probably had it filled up to about right here. So there's still half the ice left, at least, that we put in there before. So I'm just going to put the plug back in. These plugs, they just screw in, if you don't know. Apparently, they get stolen because they're like tied to the thing with like a alarm. But I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna fill this back up again. And then after, like I said, after we get back on the beach, I'll show y'all how much ice it held um, from then. I'm not actually gonna change this ice out, which this ice is, should probably be changed out, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna add ice to it because we have to use an ice machine and I don't wanna take all the ice for somebody else. So this may not be a completely fair test because this ice may be more susceptible to melting since it has partially melted already, but um, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, we were at the beach for seven hours, maybe a little, just a little bit more. So uh, we're gonna take a look. And this was open several times to get drinks out of them. I'm not even taking the drinks out of them yet. So let's see what we got. That's, that's pretty much close to the same thing that we had in it. And it was in direct sunlight, as you can see from the from the photo. Um, I guess we'll take the plug out and uh, just see how much water actually comes out of this thing. Uh, there's actually quite a bit. If I can get this to focus, I've got this in the bathtub. I mean, there's, well, I mean, I say it's quite a bit, but that didn't take long. Let me tip it up and see what we got. I mean, it's still coming out. And uh, you can see that's about it. And I think I had it filled up to about right here with ice and drinks. And you can see that it's pretty much, um, held what I put in it. And like I said, from the photo, you can see it was in direct sunlight. And uh, it's held quite a bit of ice without any problem. Now, I did have a subscriber tell me that they had an older one that had the aluminum handle up here. And they'd take it out on a boat and they never could keep ice in it. They stuck it in a the refrigerator. They did everything Yeti recommended. And they couldn't keep ice in it like this for the day. But as you can see, this newer model, and I do believe these Tundras are made in the USA. I had some people talk about uh, them being Chinese, but I believe these Tundras are made in the US. Um, as you can see, it, it mine holds ice perfectly fine. It was about 86, between 86 and 90 degrees here in St. Petersburg today. And uh, like I said, direct sunlight, as you've seen from the photo, no issues at all. So uh, I can recommend the newer models. If you, have an, if, you, if you find an older model that has the aluminum handle up here, maybe not, but as you can see, this one just has the handles on the side and uh, seven straight hours in the, in the sunlight and uh, it, it held ice perfectly well. I appreciate y'all watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe.
We'll see you next time.